Buick Regal. We showed you guys what it sounded like before. It's what it looks like after. High flow converter, factory resonator, two and a quarter pipe. Then we took off the stock muffler, installed the Borla Pro XS, part number 40357. There'll be a link in the description for it. And then we finished it off nicely with a stainless steel dual tip out the back, right there. As you guys can see, came out nice and clean. So stay tuned guys. We're gonna let you guys hear it. There's the stock muffler that was on it that we cut off and the cat is over there on the desk in the back. Right there. A lot cleaner, a lot nicer. Stay tuned guys, we're gonna let you hear it. He didn't want it crazy loud. If he wanted it louder, you could, uh, we could take the resonator off. But he just wanted the tone, barely like three, four decibels louder. Here's sound decibels. 88.3, say 89. Yeah, 89.7. Do it again. That's yeah, right at 92. That's the nice thing about Borla, guys. When you when you get really on the car, that's when they peak and they get louder. But sitting still, like at idle, you don't really hear it. And tap the gas. It's a nice, clean, medium tone. Got a really nice stance for being such an older car. An old car. Guys, you're on the inside. I think he likes it. Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, he likes it. Enjoy it. Buick Regal Supercharge. With a sexy rims, apartment in the background, backdrop. Nice. Yeah. 2016 MKZ all-wheel drive 3.7 liter V6. I always liked them when they came out, man. They, they look like swans. I don't know why. To me, it looked like a, a swan with the wings open. See it in the front? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. I guess I'm weird like that. Anyways, factor converter there. Factor converter there. Then goes into two flex pipes and it's true dual. Okay, then usually it comes single. But what we did is we cut it off, put a magna flow right there, dual in, dual out with a built-in X-pipe, and then another X-pipe behind it, so it gives it that double helix uh, setup. Cuts down on rasp and gives it a really nice deep tone. Here's the part number on the magna flow, 11386. And then we'll get you a part number on the X-pipe in a second, okay? It'll be in the description also. There's the magna flow, dual in, dual out. There's the X pipe, two and a quarter pipe all the way back continues. Then we started it when it was over here and it was raspy. So we had to add something else to it, which are the Natami spiral mufflers. Good old Natami right there. Here's the part number NT101. 
eight and T one zero one eight by Natami. And then here's the part number on the uh, X pipe right there. There'll be a link in the description for it off Amazon. And then there's the Natamis right there, the spiral mufflers there. And there, we really like putting these on actually because they actually cut a lot of the rasp away. We were pleasantly surprised. And then as you guys can see, we finished it off into his stock tips out the back on each side, there and there. Came out really nice, real clean. 3.7 all wheel drive MKZ. And there's the, where it widened to a single there. There's the resonator that was on it. And then it goes out of the resonator into the muffler with a dual outlet there. So you can see we cut all that off and replaced it. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and it's got a sexy look to it with the Natami resonators. So stay tuned, guys. We're about to let you hear it. And like always, guys, like, comment, and hit that subscribe. Here we go, guys. not raspy at all it's just deep. that's what we were looking for no rasp your sound decibels right at 88.6 so we'll call it 90 perfect cruising car perfect speed Now the sound fits the car, you know? Before it was too quiet. Oh, that sounds so clean. here on the inside. That's a cool looking ride, man. Futuristic for its time. I like it. Remember when they first came out, they were really sexy cars. But you see, like, it looks like swan wings. Am I right, guys? It's like a swan about to take off. Look at that. It's so cool. Instead of those big grills and all that, that's a clean grill. It's just all the lines flow together really cleanly. And then if you guys ever rode in these, they're so comfortable. It's like riding in a couch. That sounds so good. All right, guys, 2007 Honda Accord V6. Boom, 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 boom. Got converter, converter up there. Then it winds into a single flex pipe. Then a third converter there. There's a second converter, guys. There's the first converter up there. There's the third converter. This usually comes with two resonators. We took them out and put in a Dynamax race bullet right there. Part number. 24215 right there dynamax race bullet 24215 there'll be a link in the description for it then we ran two and a half inch pipe all the way back custom bent out the passenger side to one side he wanted it on one side at an angle right there look at that as you guys can see that so there it is so it's a single exhaust two and a half with a dynamax race bullet out the side and there's the original exhaust that I was telling you guys about. There's the resonator, second resonator, then it wise out and goes into two inch pipe before. So we took all that restriction out and ran it into a single. So it looks a lot nice, a lot cleaner. We'll let you guys hear it in a second. Hope you guys like it. And if you guys don't know, we are located in Nashville, Tennessee. So now you know. Ain't that right, Juan? If you don't know, now you know. Honda Accord V6. 
Dynamax race bullet. Seven Honda Accord V6. We just finished the exhaust line. He's going to show you guys the drive off. Dynamax bullet, two and a half inch pipe, single. Oh, yeah, perfect. This is a sedan G80 3.3 liter turbo. You don't see much of the 3.3 liters, so it's only got 27,000 miles on it. That's insane, bro. That's a it's a nice car. It's all decked out too. I showed you guys earlier what it looked like inside. Anyways, manifold converters, one there and one there. Then the pipes come down. Two secondary converters there, two factory resonators there, then two and a quarter pipe out the back on each side. With, and then we did a muffler delete on each side there and there as you guys can see it has a dual outlet tips but it's too much work to uh, put a y pipe on there and it defeats the purpose and it takes away from the sound so we just run them single on each side and you can't see it anyways when it's on the ground you can't see any of that anyway so it doesn't matter but that's what they look like out the back the two mufflers as you guys can see and those suckers are heavy they're really packed that's why it was so quiet anyways stay tuned guys we're gonna let you guys hear it hope you guys like it and like always like comment hit that subscribe all right, here we go, guys. 3.3 turbo G80. Now you can hear it, finally. Here's Ivan. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds really good. When they're turbo, they always don't have a lot of rest. Thumbs up. All right. Intake's coming in. Really hear that turbo. Oh, you're gonna really hear it, yeah. You're gonna get an intake for it too. Right? If you guys don't know, we are located in Nashville, Tennessee, 3560. Dickerson Pipe. Here's our beautiful shop, guys. You guys wonder what it looked like. Uh, sounds phenomenal. I'll let you guys hear on the inside. You 
here we go genesis sedan 3.3 liter turbo with a muffler delete you don't see these cars every day deleted so we're gonna let you guys see them yeah it's clean i like it not, though, not overbearing it's a luxury car so it's clean all right guys we got a 2019 audi s5 really sexy white on black the black top and it's got a white all the way around and what we did on it got factory converters up there on the manifolds then he ordered a kit by vbs versatile versa truck whatever i don't know right there here it is it's a kit they sell for 250 and what it does is it, it deletes the mid mufflers we just installed it for them what you have to do is cut two and a half inches away from each clamp from the downpipe there and there and then you unclap them here you use, reuse the original clamps there and they supply the clamps here and there and then you just install them cut them off and install them right there still got the factory mid resonator and still got the factory mufflers there and there and factory valves and all that good stuff there's the two resonators right there that were on it three mufflers they call them and we make sure they were resonators before we even started working on it so i don't know if you guys can see but they're empty inside all right and that's what it looks like after a lot cleaner a lot nicer and like always guys make sure you like comment and subscribe for more beautiful content yeah tell them to show them this is where the valves close guys Right at 98, and now he's gonna open the valves. Sport Plus Plus. Okay, change it. Again. Right at, go ahead. There's that marble. Again. That's right at 97, still 98. But when you go down the road, it's a whole different car. Did it have the barber before? Even with yeah, those other ones? Yeah. yeah. You gotta get it tuned. It's still not bad though. Yeah, that's sick. I like it. Go, go ahead and back it out. Seventeen Jaguar F Pace supercharged all the way from Iowa. We appreciate them coming down. Let me show you what we did on it. Something really crazy, guys. Cool design. Factor converter, factor converter. Then first resonator right there. Second set of resonators right there. Then two and a quarter pipe continues. And usually there's two mufflers here. We took them off. Put two Dynamax race bullets, part number twenty four two fifty, right there and right there twenty four two fifty. And then we put some tips on it, different design, give it that super cool look. As you guys can see, instead of flat, I showed it earlier, they're pointing straight down. Look at that. Just gives it a sick, sick look. If you guys agree, let us know what you guys think of these tips on this beautiful F-Pace supercharged Jaguar. But for right now, check it out. Really nice, really cool. And there's the stock two mufflers, ugly mufflers that were on it that we took off. 
right there. So guys, stay tuned. We're going to let you guys hear it. And like always, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends and buddies. And we are located in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA. Now it sounds like a Jaguar, guys. Check it out, guys. 2001 S4 Audi rally car. Pushing about 350 at the crank. Look at that inner cooler. It's massive. I like it. It looks so clean on it. Check it out, guys. So he brought it in. This piece broke on it for him on the inner cooler. We put him a pipe and just fixed it up. We didn't touch anything else, but I said I'm going to do a video for it. It's fully straight pipe. Three inch, then two and a quarter. All the way back, straight pipe, as you guys can see. It's a cool looking car. All the way from Washington. He lives near now, so he called us. He needed it fixed. He didn't know about our YouTube channel. So I told him, is it cool if we put it on YouTube? He's like, yeah, hell yeah, put it on. So we did. There it is. Check it out, guys. S4. Check out the side of it. It's clean. It's nice. Good looking car. Make sure you guys like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more beautiful content. Fully straight pipe. Rally car. had some fun with this car you can tell the race car seats and everything he's definitely enjoyed it and that's what these cars are for is to enjoy build them destroy them and rebuild them don't you guys agree see you man see if we even do 
some intercooler work. Nothing, no tuning or nothing like that, but piping and stuff where we can reach it. And it's not too complicated, we'll fix it. If we can help the car community, we do. Shots. <laughs> you can still hear it. And my wa my watch says loud environment. Again, beautiful. Enjoy, guys. All right, guys. We got a 2017 Audi A7 running about 490 horsepower. So it's got resonated downpipes. They're supposed to cut down on drone on it. There and there, it's got a stage two tune. And then it's got a bolt-on kit from AWE, as you guys can see right there. Each side, it's an AWE touring system with uh, resonated downpipes, okay? It's supposed to push about 490. It hasn't dynoed it yet, but it's it pushes around 490 horsepower, all right? So we're going to let you guys hear it and show you what, what was done to it and what we did. It came with the system put on already, but it was hitting right there at the cross member. So AWE, if you're watching, supply new hangers on it that are a little bit stronger. So we had to put a solid mount hanger on it to raise it up off the middle, as you guys can see. It was hitting really bad, rattling the whole car. But it's got two resonators there, another resonator there, as you guys can see. There's the AWE uh, Performance Unlocked sticker with a serial number. It also cracked here, so they sent him a new one, this side that he had installed too, because it cracked right there. That was a weak spot. And then there's the 180 technology by AWE right there. And right there, that's supposed to cut down on drone also. He says he barely hears any drone out of it. And another thing, AWE, the new hangers have like um, ends on them. You have to add washers on each side because it kept sliding out and it ruined his bumper right there. So we put him two washers and tacked them so the hanger doesn't move anymore, as you guys can see. But other than that, it's a really beautiful system right there. You guys can see 3.0 turbo quattro A7. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna let you guys hear it. And like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell us if these videos are helping. And if they are, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for us guys. sounding car right there. That's exotic right there. Again. Right at 103. I like it. I like it. Sorry for the construction, guys. Exotic. I like it. Can't tell this thing wants to go. It's ready for action. I like the teardrop slant on it. That's cool. And he says this system doesn't drone at all, guys. So that's the system to go with. I'll let you guys hear on the inside. Audi A7 Quattro, full downpipes, AWE system with 180 technology, which cuts out drone. Sorry for the construction, guys. Wow, that sounds 
was phenomenal, guys. 2023, Julia, my Alfa Romeo, the V6, top of the line. That's something different. Look at that logo. That's cool. Holy Polar. I didn't know they had those. That's pretty cool. Anyways, got a really nice look to it, too. Check it out, guys. What we got done on it, as you guys can see, factory converter there, factory converter there, then flex pipe, flex pipe. There was a resonator there. We took it off. There's a resonator on it. That's what it looked like. Alfa Romeo. Bull in, bull out. Resonator, we cut it off and replaced it with two beautiful pieces of pipe and then left everything else that you can't see under the all the aerodynamic uh, plastic. But there's a muffler there and valves and all that stuff. I'll show it to you guys inside there. Crazy contraptions in there. Okay, there and there. And he did a valve delete kit on it already, so the valve stay open. And what it does, it comes true dual in and true dual out. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to let you guys hear it. And like always, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see the difference. Them Italians, I tell you. It's definitely a different tone. That's sick. I like it. We wanted to do a muffler delete on it also, guys. But it didn't work out because that bumper is all one piece. So all of it has to come off in order for us to uh, do a muffler delete. Definitely different look than your usual vehicle with that that grill is cool it's different i like it 505 horsepower by the way guys so don't underestimate this car the engine is made by ferrari put in this thing Alright guys, 2024 Cadillac CT5 V. Anyways, factory converter, factory converter. I was disappointed. They started making these in a V6 twin turbo instead of the V8. Bring back the V8. If you agree, call your local representative and tell them to bring back the V8. Anyways, flex pipes there, X pipe there. Then it continues and what we did, a muffler delete there and there two and a half. And then there's the valves. We just left them on there and added uh, braces to them. They are in there. So the car thinks it's opens and closes like it's supposed to. And they got the CTS V tips out the back there. And right there. Look at that. CT5 V by Cadillac. They should have put a 6.2 in this sucker. I don't know why they went with a twin turbo six cylinder. 
Shame, shame, shame. Anyways, there's a factory muffler that was on it that we took off too. So anyways, stay tuned guys. We're about to let you guys hear it. And like always, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't know, we are located in good old Nashville, Tennessee. Music City, USA. All right guys, here we go. CT5V. When it pops, it reaches 99, almost 100. We got this sexy cicada. They're out in Tennessee right now. That's what that whoa here in the background. She's just chilling. Exhaust attic cicada. I love the look of them. They're badass cars. Should have had 6'2. Anyways, it's okay. Still a fat car. Oh, uh, that pop is nice. Got a nice stance to it. Look at that. She's clean. I'll let you guys hear it on the inside. the new look of the caddies. Oh, such a bad car, guys. Especially with the apartments in the background. Woo. Jolts in the middle. Woo. 